is full of magic, energies, and so many possibilities. What if I told you, you can have anything you want? Yes, anything. Because with the universe, anything is possible. You are magic. Your thoughts are powerful. Your words are powerful. And what you believe is what you attract into your world. With the power of manifestation, you can create anything you want. Yes, anything you want. My shop, Jalissa's Manifestations, provides the tools to help you attract your desires, your wishes, your dreams. My candles are infused with crystals which hold energies and specific herbs to attract your manifestations. All you need is a wish and to believe. Energies are real and control your moods and what you attract. Sometimes we can feel depleted or in need of a boost of energy and that's what my spiritual baths are for. Cleansing, protecting, attracting love, abundance, and opportunities. The possibilities are endless. All you need is to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the magic inside you. Just believe. Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are okay. It's your girl, Jalissa, and I'm coming to you guys with a pick a card reading today. Today's pick a card reading is going to be a no contact situation. All right, I put a vote out there, and this is what won out of all the topics. So let's get it. Let's go. All right, so if you are not in contact with this person or you have minimum contact, however you want to resonate with that, um, then this is a reading for you. Okay, so we have three pals to select from. This is pal one over here with the lucky clover. This is pal two over here with the caliente picante chili. This is pal three over here with the internet service. Hello, you got service? Yes, I do. Okay, <laughs> all right, so pal one, pal two, pal three. Um, take your time choosing your pile, baby. Each pile is going to have a different message. I do shuffle live, so we do, I don't even know what's going to come out. We're going to figure it out together. All right, so Zen and Choose is how I like to ask my OGs to do. All right, so Zen and Choose. Take a moment, breathe. Mm. All right, go grab your cup of water, coffee, tea, milk, hot chocolate, strawberry milk, scotch, um, wine, whatever your cup of tea is, you know, go grab that, get a snack. We're going to have a discussion, get comfortable, and let's get it, let's go. Timestamps are down below in the description for those of you who are ready whenever you are. You could go right ahead to your reading. But right now, it is my thank you hour, so let me give my thanks, okay? <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, I want to say thank you to you. Yes, you, baby, for being here with me today. Thank you for being interested in my video and for liking my flow and riding my wave. I appreciate you so much, babe. Bless. I want to say thank you to those who have supported me in any way, shape, or form, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting on my videos. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for being part of my wave. Mwah. All right, I want to say thank you to all those beautiful souls who have followed me over to the after party, the extended videos um, at Gum Road. Thank you so much for supporting me, guys. I really, really appreciate you. And because of you guys, I'm able to be here and do what I love to do most, and that is help the collective. All right, so I love you guys. Thank you for joining me. And I want to say thank you to those who have purchased any of my manifestation products, candles, baths, kits anything that i have put up on there and you decided that you needed some spiritual help guidance um support and bought any of my products or just wanted to support me in general i love you so much thank you so much i'm so happy that i was able or i, I am able to help you all right baby bless <laughs> and i want to say thank you to all those beautiful souls who have donated anything to my channel money gifts whatever you have donated to the channel thank you so much i appreciate you guys for being so supportive to my channel to me i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope that you get the same blessing in return in tenfold i love you 
all right baby all right all right so let's get it let's go all right so no contact what's going on what's happening what's to be expected part one part two part three i will find you at your pa baby okay let's get it let's go <laughs> hello my beautiful souls hi pa one how are you doing baby welcome to your reading bless all right so let's get it let's go all right today we are doing a no contact reading what's going on with your person what's going on in this connection all right baby so let's get it let's go spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guides angels please come through and help me channel the message here today for pa one bless all right, baby, so let's get your angel number out here first, and then we'll do the rest as it follows. Okay, uh -huh. come on. Three, six, three, two. All right, so your angel number, part one, is 3632. Okay, you're going to go on to Google and put 3632 angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your message from Spirit. All right, baby? All right, so let's get a message from Spirit as well over here. One second, though. Okay. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through. Help me channel this message here today for pile one in regards to their person. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, spirit. So, what is the message for pile one today? You know the song I'm hearing, um, Girl Like Me by Shakira. Ah, looking for, <laughs> looking for a girl like me. <laughs> okay, so someone's looking for someone like you. Hello. All right, so it says, I am obedient. Wait, wait, I am observant. What am I talking about? Oh, maybe somebody's obedient though. All right, I am observant. Zero, zero. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust that your intuition and, well, trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. All right, so they're asking you to pay attention. Your angels are asking for your attention right now, Pa One. Listen, they're giving you signs. Um, See if you pay attention to the numbers around you. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the songs that keep playing around you. All right. Um, <clears throat> and we have the number 29. I am insightful. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the open the oneness of all things all right so you guys are very intuitive they want you to listen to your intuition because apparently there's like something that your intuition is telling you right now upon one that you're not picking up on or that um you're not really hearing is what your angels are saying so that is your message pa one bless all right so let's pull a song i don't know i just wanted to pull a song from the very beginning and then we're gonna go into your reading i haven't even picked my tarot deck um i guess okay all right, Spirit, Ancient Ancestors, Universe, Spiritual Guys, what song do you want to give Paul one for this reading? John Legend, All of Me. Oh, I love this song. We're going to play it in the extended. Okay. So it goes, what would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. You've got my head spinning, no kidding. I can't pin you down. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride and I'm so dizzy. Don't know what hit me, but I'll be all right. Aw, go listen to that John Legend, all of me. I'll put that right here. All right, in the bottom of the deck, we have Selena. I could fall in love. I could lose my heart tonight if you, could, if you don't turn and walk away. Because the way I feel, I might lose control and let you stay. Because I could take in my arms and never let go. I could fall in love, in love with you. I love this song too. You guys got good songs. All right, so John Legend, All of Me. I love that song. And Selena, I could fall in love. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. All right, guys, so let's get it. Let's go. Let's go into your reading. What's going on? No contact. 
I want to pull one of my OG decks. Let's see which OG deck I am pulling today that I haven't used. OG deck. Which OG deck you want to come with? Which one want to come with me today? Should we use this one? It's not really an OG deck, but I mean, we can use it. Now, I want to pull an OG deck. Sorry, guys, I didn't have the OG deck or the deck in general. Um ready for you guys so unprofessional of me but this is how we do it <laughs> this is how we do it na, 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 na. <laughs> what yeah i just channeled that i don't know this is how we do it this is how we do it it's friday night part one you chose a clover because you're a good luck charm all right your person feels like you're good luck, you're abundant, you're good luck, you're a good luck charm, okay? There's something very abundant about you and this connection is what your person feels. All right, so let's get it, let's go. All right, spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for power one. No contact situation, what is going on? This is how we do it. It's Friday night. No, no, not, not, not on the west side. All right, the Ten of Swords keeps coming out to me. All right, so you guys obviously had some type of ending separation here, and it was pretty, pretty tough, is what I'm seeing. All right, your person feels like um hurt, is what I'm getting. It's very ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels. Please come through and help me channel this message here today for Paul One. Spirit, what is going on with Paul One's person? No contact. What's going on? What is to be expected? What are they feeling right now? You are the empress. That's what they feel. Mm -hmm. Regardless of sex, female or male, they find you as someone that has such a big heart, such a giver, a nurturer. Someone that's very smart, outgoing, leadership skills for sure. Some of you guys could be leaders or you run something, your boss energy, okay? They find you very ambitious, very motivated, very smart, very attractive. You bring everything to the table basically is what they feel. Mm -hmm. All of me. All of me is a beautiful song. Go listen to that. Mm -hmm. All right. Strength. All right, we have the strength card. That's Leo energy. Mm -hmm. Your person sees you as someone that's um diverse, very strong. You have like both masculine and feminine energies. They see you as divine feminine and divine masculine. The lovers in reverse. That's Gemini energy. All right. Yeah, they see this connection as something very powerful. All right. They also feel like you have very... You have lots of wisdom. I'm also getting Libra. I'm also getting Libra. I don't know. That's just popping in. Um, but they do see you as someone that has lots of knowledge, wisdom. Mm -hmm. I'm just channeling what I'm channeling. And we're going to talk about this. Ace of Swords. All right. So this is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Swords. The Wheel in Reverse. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's Jupiter energy. The Five of Pentacles. And we have the star in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay. The star is Aquarius. All right, so let's get more energies out here, baby. All right, Spirit, what is Paul One's person feeling? What's going on? Whoa. We have reconciliation, and it flew out. I, I know you saw that. I know you saw that. Attraction. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. Somebody wants to give this a chance here. Hint, hint, your person. <laughs> okay, so let's get it. Spirit, talk to me about Pa One's person. What are they feeling? What's going on right now in this no contact situation? All right, we have fantasizing. So definitely your person is fantasizing about you. We have self-pleasure. Yeah, fantasizing and pleasing themselves to you. Okay, somebody's masturbating. We have silent moves. We have incomparable. 
All right. Okay. That's a beautiful energy. And we have dating. Okay. Back of the deck, we have can't be trusted with this. I'm going to put this right next to this deception. All right. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here. Okay. For Paul one. <laughs> All right. Um, one second. Paul one. What is that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna say this for if anyone needs to hear this. I don't do personal readings right at least right now I'm not doing them. Alright, guys, like I am not open because I have so much going on. Alright, but let's get it, let's go. Random, random <laughs> random notification. No, not a notification. Um, random. I'm just saying that randomly. Anyway, um, all right, let's get it. Let's go, guys. Your person, pal one. They admire you. All right, they really, they really are admiring you, but they do feel like they messed up. All right, they feel like they messed up. There, there could have been an argument here. There could have been for some of you guys a divorce, or you know, they made a bad choice. Is what they feel. And because of this bad choice, your person feels like they've gotten some type of bad luck. You know, they feel stuck. They feel like they have no control over this situation. Your person has recently gone through some type of epiphany when it comes to you. Like, because they think about you a lot. This person consistently has you on their mind. They, they can't take you out of their mind. This person thinks that you are their lucky charm. But they kind of tested their luck when having you or while being with you and they feel like they lost their lucky charm and they feel stuck this person feels really stuck in their head about the situation the epiphany that this person have has had recently has a lot to do with everything that has gone on between you and them this is a cycle that you are in with this person and they feel like you guys are somewhat meant to be together there's like a really strong tie here is what your person feels. They try to like solve this situation as to why they feel so connected to you. Because since you guys have been in disconnection, your person has been in depression. Okay, your person has gone through like, like a small depression and they do feel ignored by you in some sort of way. They feel like ignored by you by because you, you guys... They made a bad choice when it came to you. And even though it may have been their fault that they're in the situation they're in right now, because that's how they feel, like they made their bed and they have to lay in it because they were deceptive. They were wearing a mask. They weren't showing you exactly who they were or exactly what their intentions were. And you may feel like you cannot trust this person, Pa One, and therefore you're ignoring this person. This person feels like they're out in the cold with you. But in all reality, this person does have the key to come inside. It's just that they're, they're in such a rut. They're in such a negative energy about the connection and their decision that they made, which was really poor, um, that they don't see that they have the key to come inside. They feel like to take off this mask and show you their true identity is tough. Like it's, it's weighing heavy on their face this mask and they do want to take it off but they feel like it's kind of like it's it's kind of like um they're allergic to the sun is like i don't know why i'm seeing this but it's like a person that cannot cannot see the sun or cannot like their eyes cannot have contact with the sun which is weird because the sun is a beautiful energy the sun is success happiness good health happy marriage all right but for whatever reason i'm seeing someone that cannot see the sun and in order to show you or see you, because you're the sun to this person, you are the ultimate happiness to your person, pal one. So in order to see you, they got to take off the sunglasses and it blinds them. It hurts to see you because you're everything that they want, 
but yet they don't want to show you how ugly they are behind those sunglasses because they feel ugly behind the sunglasses not in a physical way like where they feel like unattractive and they feel like you won't like who you see physically but more so emotionally and spiritually all right because they had to like hide and harbor and like hold things back from you and that's why they made these poor decisions with you they haven't shown you who they truly are and they feel like if they show you who they truly are you're gonna be like ah, you know you're not gonna like what you see is what they feel they want to speak their truth to you deep deep down inside they want to give you the truth they've had like recently an epiphany about you and this connection and they're just like they can't get over you is what they what the epiphany was like no matter how hard this person tries to run no matter how hard this person tries to find someone because i see that they have tried looking for someone that they could find that would be compatible to you pa one that would possibly fill in that void because you imprinted this person pa one you really have and this person yeah they cannot let go of you without you they feel poor not poor in a financial way but yeah, be poor in a financial way as well. I was going to say tambien, which is also, <laughs> all right, because you are their lucky charm. You are their abundance. And without you, they feel poor. We're, we're not talking money here, but in general, they do feel poor. They feel like they've lost everything. And I'm not trying to be dramatic and gas you up, pa one, but that is really what's coming through to me. And that's really what I'm getting. This person feels like you were the best opportunity this person has ever gotten in their life and they're learning a major lesson in this world the universe karma by their actions with you they feel like they were served karma with you because you're someone that's so like giving caring loving all right you have this very strong energy about you you not only are you like a good person on the inside but you look good on the outside too all right so you look good on the outside but you also have a very good personality is what they feel they want to give this a chance they want to see if they could do this with you but there's a lot holding this person back and what's holding them back is themselves their head their mind their thoughts their depression all right depression is not something cute at all and it's not a word that you want to take lightly all right there's people that put themselves in situations or build like illusions in their mind of what's really going on when it's not even there all right this person has built some type of illusion of how you see them or how you feel about them that's not really there is what i feel and because they're in this low vibrational energy they won't come inside they won't open up that door they have the access they have the key to open up this door to have this communication with you yes they do i see it but they're scared they don't see the key because all they could do is really pity themselves for what they did in the past they feel horrible for the decisions that they have made with you in the past they feel like also that someone there may have been an outsider like a third party interference like someone that may have influenced their decision or how they acted and they're really pissed off with this person as well because they feel like this person guided them or gave them guidance to to make this decision with you and they can't be trusted all right this person now your person doesn't trust this person whoever this person was that gave them advice or guidance about you who led them in the wrong way and i feel like it was a hater all right this third party was a hater they made it seem that you weren't who you really are but this person is seeing you for who you really are now and it, there's a connection you guys have like some type of psychic connection and they feel it They've seen you in their dreams and they know that it's not a coincidence that they're getting these messages with you and they just feel kind of dumb that they lost this opportunity with you is what I'm seeing. They want reconciliation with you. They want you back. They want to give this a chance for sure. Your person fantasizes about you. They're so attracted. Um, They're so attracted to you in a sexual way as well. All right. They can't get you out of their mind. They can't escape their thoughts with you. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's like this person sometimes goes into la la land, all right? 
they daydream about you. They fantasize about you and them because they feel so connected to you and they never stopped having these feelings for you is what I'm seeing. Their decision wasn't really their decision and I'm not trying to defend them. It's like this person's very kind of, I'm sorry to say this, but weak-minded because they let other people influence their decision with you. And this was a very, this is a very important union you guys have here. Very important. It was brought, it's not, it's not a, a coincidence that you and them met. This is like definitely Cupid's work out here. <laughs> I got you in the booty. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And they're so attracted to you that they can't stop thinking about you. So they daydream about you a lot. There's a lot of masturbation going on here. Self-pleasure. Thinking about you. Okay. Mm -hmm. This person has pictures or videos of you on their phone secretly. So I don't know if they took secretly pictures of you or videos or maybe you do know that they have videos and pictures of you in their phone. And this is what they use to masturbate um, with you. Mm -hmm. This person is secretly doing something right now behind the scenes. And the reason why they're not telling you or anyone about what they're getting done behind the scenes, what they're doing behind the scenes, is because it's kind of like that thing when you got something good going when when you're like when you have like a good idea going or you have a plan a good plan going you don't want to tell anybody because you feel like you don't know who has positive energy and who has negative energy and who's gonna want to like ruin your plans or like you know put my de ojo which is the evil eye on your problems or your your blessings your gifts all right so your person is moving in silence right now. I feel like this person is not telling not a soul about what they're about to do with you or what they're planning to do with you because they are planning something. They want to speak their truth to you is what's coming through. They want reconciliation with you. They want a second chance because they try to find someone. They try to find people to replace you, to fill in the void of you, Paul one, and they haven't been able to do it because there is no nothing there's no one that's gonna amount to you because it's a it's a it's like all right it's like a special puzzle piece and there's only that one puzzle piece that fits there and you can find all the puzzle pieces i'm seeing a thousand pieces i don't know i'm getting a thousand pieces you can have a thousand pieces to a puzzle and you could go mad looking for that one piece to fit that one little spot that's missing and you're not going to find it because there's only one piece. You're the one piece and you're hiding underneath the carpet. And they're going mad looking for a piece to to fill in your place. But only you could fill that place up. And this is what they're finally realizing. And that's why they're like doing something behind the scenes where they're making a secret plan to do something here with you and they're not telling a soul about it because the last time they told somebody about you and their feelings for you and what they want here in this connection it was sabotage this person was this person's a bit gullible and whoever spoke to them whoever whoever was trying to like deceive them and got to do whatever you know got to be in their head and plant seeds in their head about you um they were wearing a mask it's someone that was very deceptive but they know who it is now like obviously they know who it is but they know what this person did now and they're not happy with it they're not happy with the situation so that person better watch out <laughs> i don't know why i'm hearing bad boys bad boys what we're gonna do <laughs> what why am i hearing that is someone from miami <laughs> will smith hello all right so let's see what your person wants to say to you real quick we're gonna pull a message and we're gonna go into charms all right baby but this is what i'm seeing i'll come spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys angels please come through and help me channel this message for part one all right spirit so what does part one's person want to say to part one girl like me so i channeled also girl like me by shakira and it's like ah looking for a girl like me latinas dun, dun. all right it's like this person was looking for a girl or a guy like you and they couldn't find it nope i've looked at wedding rings oh excuse me paul one my heart is hurting okay so they're really hurt over this situation and that's for sure because they went into depression after this bad decision that they made here with you 
and they're still in this low vibrational energy where they feel stuck in their head um but the fact that they've looked at wedding rings involving you all right they see marriage with you they see something long term here with you they definitely feel like you complete them you're that puzzle piece that they've been looking for that they can't find i hide my jealousy all right so this person knows how to wear a mask very well i told you they were wearing a mask and they feel like they're still wearing a mask and they feel like you're not gonna like what you see once they take the mask off i dream about having a family with you this person dreams about you a lot they do live in a little fantasy world with you paul one for real they're always thinking and daydreaming about you loving you is really all that's on my mind all right so all that's on their mind right now is loving you and their heart is really hurting. They want a family with you. They want marriage with you. And they're very jealous when it comes to you. They're hiding it. And they're hiding it very well. All right, baby. All right, so let's get it. Let's go into charms, all right? We're going to get some advice. And then we're going to go into charms. All right. So, babe, of course, per the usual, I am going to do an extended, an after-party reading, all right? The extended reading, the link will be down below in the description. I'm going to see what secret moves this person is making behind the scenes. Like, what is the secret? I want to know. <laughs> I'm so nosy. All right, so we're going to see what the secret is, what this, person's gonna, what this person is planning behind the scenes that they're not telling a soul about because they believe in evil eye and they feel like a lot of people have evil eye on your connection, okay? so period all right um that and we're gonna pull more messages about what else they want to say to you baby and we're gonna pull some advice and guidance just for you paul one all right so the extended the after party reading is down below in the description if you guys want to join me all right bless all right so spirit what's the advice for paul one trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation, it would automatically, it will automatically transform. All right. So have trust and faith in this connection in what's happening and in the events that have occurred, that everything that has happened has a reason is basically what they're saying. And we got soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. All right. I definitely told you, you have a psychic connection with this person. Pa one, you guys are like soulmates, okay? I feel like you have very vivid dreams about this person, Pa one, and so do they. Definitely linking up in the 5D. It's just a matter of bringing this relationship from the 5D into the 3D. All right? All right. Now, here's my charms. Here's my charms. <laughs> All right, so guys, this gets very loud. If you're sensitive to noise, you may want to lower the volume now. All right, and um, what is all this? Oh my gosh, hold on, guys. I just like saw all these rose petals and I have to move it to the side. Hold on, it's giving me anxiety. Okay, sorry. <laughs> all right, so listen, guys, this is very loud. So if you're sensitive to noise, you may want to lower the volume now. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Ready, set, go. Set, ancestors, universe, for the guys, angels. Please come through. Help me count on the message here for Pop One. Okay, I'll take it. However it goes. All right, let's get some initials. Now let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so let me get this together, guys. And um, give me a second, okay? And then we'll channel the charms. Alright, baby? Okay. Hello there. How you doing, baby? If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Everybody welcome, of course. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to the family. I hope you're enjoying yourself here with me today. If so, become part of my family. Alright, um, how do you want it to land? Okay, let's see. If so, become part of my family, all right? My door is totally open for you. Um, uh-huh, yeah. 
My door is totally open for you, and you're more than welcome to be part of my family. All right, babe, so all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell button. The reason why I say hit the bell button is because YouTube has an interesting way, just like Instagram, um, not to compare, sorry, YouTube, um, but <laughs> it's a rhythm. So they choose to notify you based on a rhythm, what they want to choose to notify you as far as posts go. So if you want to be notified of my posts whenever I post, you have to hit the bell button. All right, baby? Okay. All right, so um, also by subscribing, you will be automatically enrolled. Every other Monday, I hold a raffle for a giveaway. I give away one manifestation candle to a random, you know, lucky subscriber. And I have so many candles. If you want to check out my shop, my link is down below, my Etsy shop. It's magical stuff in there, baby. Magical. <laughs> All right, so by subscribing, you'll be automatically enrolled. Um, I post the winner on my community board either Monday or, uh, or Monday or Tuesday, every other Monday or Tuesday. So just check out my community board on those days and you'll see if you are a winner. All right, babe, bless. So let's get it, let's go. Let's see what's going on here. Hi, my OGs. Hi, baby, I love you. All right, <laughs> so I'm seeing that your person, Pa One, they feel like you're really upset with them. Like they, they, they find you as someone that's very attractive female or male you are very attractive you are sexy okay and they can't get enough of you they feel like you are everything.com but they feel like you're upset with them they do they feel like you're angry at them you're being cold all right you giving this person your back is what they feel and i feel like it's because of the way they acted honestly they made a poor choice and you decided that you obviously didn't deserve that. So you gave them your back. Okay. All right. Bless. So <laughs> I see justice coming in for you guys. Libra energy coming in here as well. Yeah. You guys. You guys are about to get your justice here in this situation. This situation is in balance, but the balance is coming in. And I do see that this person was confused in the past about making a choice here with you, Pawan. But they now know what they want they made their decision and they're coming in in a couple of days to weeks to communicate their decision with you to let you know what they want to let you know that they want you yeah all right so let's go into initials first middle last initial this could be yours or theirs we have h as in helen harry Hel hector v as in vincent valerie valerio O as in Oscar, Y as in Jessica, N as in Nancy, Nando, Nor, V as in Vincent, Valerio, we did that already, W as in Washington, Wanda, Wendell, O again, G as in George, Greg, Gary, Grace, F as in Francis, Fernando, Fredolin, L as in Larry, London, Luisa, Lewis, K as in Crystal, Chris, um, Kevin, Keith, W again, U as in Ulysses, S as in Sam, Scott, Smith, um, Stephanie. I as in Aisha, um, Adelise. T as in Tom, Terry, Tiffany. D as in Daniel, David, Doug, Daquan. Okay, now we're going to go into charms. You guys are literally like a snack.com. This person feels like you attract so many people. My milkshake bring all the boys to the yard and they like is better than yours. Damn right. Is better than yours. All right. They see you as someone, like I said, you're it.com. You're so sexy. They are very attracted to you and they feel like you attract a lot of people as well. All right. They dream about you a lot. All right. There's a lot of dreaming energy here. They're dreaming about you. They're daydreaming about you. This person, you are renting space in their mind for free. Uh huh. And they are very sexually attracted to you. They want to go for multiple rounds with you, all right? They want that bunny energy. Keep going, keep going, keep going, all right? They want to water the seeds that you guys have planted. They want the seeds to grow. They do. And I see that they're cutting things out of their life that no longer serve them, all right? They're cutting, they're cutting the little weeds out of the grass and things that just don't belong, all right? Bless. They see you as someone that is blossoming. You're finally opening up and showing the world who you truly are. And it's someone amazing is what they feel. Amazing. Bless. 
yeah they see you like opening up even emotionally like you're gaining like you've gained some type of confidence or strength or something like that and you're just blossoming they see you evolving ascending like just showing your most authentic self and it's so beautiful to them i mean it is really beautiful but to them they they just find you amazing and they feel like your heart is really sweet really really sweet you have a very sweet heart and um yeah you're a sweetheart and they do feel the connection here you guys have a soul connection someone here likes um jam jelly apricot jam all right i want to try that i haven't tried it this person we have destiny the whale here and this is this pops up when someone has very deep feelings for you that they suppress all right so your person is suppressing a lot of their deep deep feelings for you for sure and we have we are we are all mad here that's the alice in wonderland charmy so your person feels like you're a risk taker you take leap of faith and you're very different you're very unique and they definitely have lots of love for you their feelings for you go so deep you just don't know how deep these feelings go because they don't show you but they're there trust me all right, money is a factor in this connection. They see that you're getting money or you're getting to the money, all right? You guys are definitely protected is what's coming through. The wheel is turning in your connection, meaning that um, tables are about to turn. A new cycle is about to begin. An old cycle is closing. So progress is coming for you guys, Paul One. Mm -hmm. And you are always in my heart. So this person is saying you're always in their heart. You have imprinted them. So you, you're not going anywhere. You're always in their heart. You're always in their mind. <laughs> All right. So you or your person could be a Capricorn and they feel like you're very ambitious. You or your person could be a Leo and they feel like you're very generous. We do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here with the wands. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here with the cups. And we have Libra with justice. All right, baby. Bless. <laughs> all right let's get into the pendulum all right i'm gonna um hold on there we go there we go all right isn't my tank sexy yeah spongebob what was i gonna say spongebob the sailor man that's Popeye the sailor man what <laughs> that's so weird what anyway think of your question part one spirit what's the answer papa the sailor man choo choo <laughs> All right, um, guys, after this, I am going to the extended, which is the after party. If you want to join me, you're more than welcome to. The link for that is down below in the description. I'm going to go into what is this person's secret plan that they don't want no one to know about in regards to you and um, their intentions, however it goes, whatever wants to pop out. And I'm also going to pull a lot more messages from this person, what else they want to say to you and guidance and yeah guidance from the universe and from your guides just for you guidance and advice all right baby so bless let's see bless. <laughs> we're definitely gonna play all of me in the extended real quick while i'm shuffling i love that song that's one of my songs i think i've cried to that song <laughs> i love it all right spirit what's the answer Something told me that you're looking for a girl like me. Something told me that you're looking for a girl like me. No, no, no. Looking for. We got to try again? All right, we got to try again, guys. I'm going to swing it again. Think again your question. What? Maybe you got to ask a different question. Let me go grab a water while this is spinning. Because I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Because I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm remixing the Bossy by Khalees song. I'm thirsty. Because I'm parched in my throat. <laughs> Woo, that was good. Shout out to H2O. Woo. You know I'm a mermaid. I need my water. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. What's the answer here, Spirit? Why you get? Why you making everybody anxious? You making me anxious. <laughs> what is it? What is it? 
Oh, rest in peace to DMX, guys. Oh, man. Er, what they bitch want when they got what you want. No way is the answer. Okay, so the answer is no way. All right, baby, bless. Okay, so guys. And then it went to yes. So maybe you asked a different question. Maybe you said something else after that. I don't know, but it was no way. Then it went to yes. Okay, I'm just leaving it alone. Guys, I love you. If you're going to meet me at the extended, bless. I'll see you right there, right now, okay? And for those of you that are parting ways with me now, I love you, Pal One. Thank you so much for being here with me today. You guys are amazing. Bless. All right, if this resonated with you, please give me a like. I love confirmation, and it also helps the channel, which helps me, and I love you for helping me. Thank you so much. Mwah, God bless your soul. Okay. <laughs> all right, Um. and um. let me know how you felt in the comments. For all my newbies, hi. All right, babe, subscribe, hit that bell button. This is one of the many candles that I raffle off every other Monday. So you will have an opportunity to be involved in that raffle. Let me know that you subscribe, say hello. I am friendly, okay? Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Guys, I will see you guys in the comments as well. I'm sending you love, light, and everything nice. Mwah. This is... <laughs> Hey, Pal2, welcome to your reading. <laughs> All right, so we're doing no contact, what's going on, and what's to be expected. All right, so Spirit, Ancient Ancestors, Universe, Spiritual Guides, Angels, please come through and help me channel this message here for Pal2. Thank you so much. OMG, hello. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, where is my Pal2? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so Spirit, what's the angel number for Pal2? Okay. Do -do 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 Pal two. Pal two, your angel number is six two one five. All right. So go on to Google, put sixty two fifteen angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your message from spirit. All right, guys, bless. So let's put that over there. Let's get your angel message out here, and then we're gonna go into your reading. All right, baby. All right. All right, so spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Paul 2. All right, so spirit, what is the angel message for Paul 2? Angel message for Paul 2. Ooh, 1111. Hello, maybe you've been seeing 1111 a lot. Bless. Make sure you make a wish when you see it on the clock. Hello. All right, I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to you, who you really are, who you truly are. All right, Paul 2, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11, you guys are waking up to who you truly are and um, to your true path. All right, baby, bless. In the back of the deck, we have number 17, I am independent. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are an, you are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. Bless. That is you, Paul, too. All right, so you work best alone. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, Paul, too, you chose caliente, spicy, chili all right i think this is a pepper all right but you're hot oof on fire pal too and that's what your person feels about you you're a spicy spicy person you are caliente you are hot 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 as ever all right sexy i'm hearing sexy can i just find in my manners girl how you shake it gotta play it like oh <laughs> all right so spirit Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me help channel this message here today for part two. All right, Spirit, what is the song for part two? Yeah, I'm pulling songs before the reading today because we're doing it different, okay? <laughs> All right, so we got Selena, I could fall in love. Did you guys get drawn to Paul 1 by any chance? I'm just throwing it out there anyway. Um, <laughs> I could fall in love, all right? I could lose my heart tonight if you turn and walk away. Because the way I feel, I might lose control and let you stay. Because I, cause I could take in my arms and never let go. I could fall in love, in love with you. Aww. 
All right, so that's your song, Selena, I Could Fall In Love. In the back of the deck, we have Jennifer Hudson, If This Isn't Love. I'm selfish because I don't want to share him with nobody, not even those people that came before me. But see, I never believed God would send me an angel up from above that's going to love me for life. Aww. All right, so this is your second song, If This Isn't Love, Jennifer Hudson. All right, baby. We're going to play that in the extended while I shuffle, okay? Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> All right, so bless. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, so spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pal 2. Spirit, what is going on with Pal 2's person? What's going on in this no contact situation? What can we tell Pal 2 about their person? Uh huh. Na 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 we have the Six of Swords in Reverse, more swords, all right? Lots of mind energy here. Lots of thoughts coming through your person. Um, Late at night, this person really does think about you tremendously, FYI. Seven of Pentacles, all right? We have Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, okay? More Earth Energy. Whoa, okay. We have more cards that were not meant to pop out, but pop out, and I take what I take, okay? So, Ace of Cups, okay, that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Four of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Page of Swords in Reverse, all right? So, for some of you guys, your person could be dealing with a legal matter at this time. This legal matter could be involving um, a community, a job, a family, or a child, nine of swords okay lots of stress we're gonna talk about it though and i did mention that late at night this person does think about you a lot and this is my late at night card so we're gonna talk about it all right so what is paul two's person feeling right now in this no contact situation all right we have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others all right we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. And we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Back of the deck, we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. Let's get a little bit of more energies out here. All right, so spirit, what is Pal 2's person feeling right now in this no contact situation? whoa okay dying love all right that flu commitment all right so that's the second like marriage connection we got here they think about you when they think about their future is what they're saying trust your intuition I love you. Undecided. All right, and at the back we have dating. I'm back into the dating scene and making effort to move on. Okay. All right, so let's get it, let's go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pal 2. Thank you so much. All right guys oh i'm being drawn to pull a card one second very interesting i didn't get drawn for pal one with this one okay all right give me a card for pal two their person's feelings okay we have saturn there was a reason i don't know a reason because 
how one did not get that energy all right but that's the world energy and then we have sagittarius under that all right so you or your person could be a sagittarius this is temperance energy all right so your person is like wanting to take things slow okay slow is the energy they want to take it slow they want to heal the connection slowly all right and what i'm seeing is also with this world energy is like there is an ending to a cycle happening at this time pal too all right so like you guys have been on a cycle with this person and this cycle is coming to an end is wrapping up is what i'm seeing mm -hmm. it's finally closing in okay so guys as far as your person was going on with them they're very indecisive we have the two of swords here and then we have undecided here as well honestly i don't know what i want not sure if i want a relationship your person is in limbo in between worlds right now where it's kind of like i don't know what i want to do but what i do know is that i can't stop thinking about you okay they cannot stop thinking about you you're consistently on their mind they're consistently thinking about you thinking about how they could fall in love with you they want to invest here with you they want to see what can grow out of this situation they are curious but there is something that is holding this person back and i feel like it's either a child or a legal situation so it could be like they're legally tied to something else a business a person a situation and this legal matter is really weighing on your person because it's it has something to do with their money and you know money means a lot to certain people certain people money means everything right so i just see this person like they're tied into something legally and they're trying to find the balance but they feel out of whack out of balance and there's a lot of anxiety coming in pal two in regards to this situation here with you and their life so it's kind of like they want to get a hold of their life first pal two before they could even make a decision here with you the reason why they're on the fence where they feel like they can't make a decision is because they got some real shit going on in their life It's going down in their life not in the dms in their life okay and i gotta put it down like that because that's exactly what's going on this person right now they do feel like you're a bit jealous in a sense there could be a jealousy um maybe they triggered your insecurities maybe they made you jealous but they feel like you're jealous they feel like um you're a little bit upset with them and jealous over something in the past they feel like you're leaving them behind like you're moving on like this love between you and them is dying you're walking away you're slipping away they don't have a hold of you is what they feel they are in love with you with this ace of cups they do have a lot of love for you that they hold within like they try to hold on to you but they feel like you're slipping away that's why they want to invest here but they're not coming in investing right now is what i see because they have something going on in their world and whatever it is is major it's a legal is a le is a legal issue that they really don't have control of right now and until they have control over this they cannot control this here with you is what i'm seeing they feel like they can't they they can't give themselves to you until they fix this situation at home in their life that's why they're undecided about what they want here with you all right this person wants to flirt with you they want to be friendly with you they want to give you their love they do have a lot of love for you they are super attracted to you and we have engagement here commitment when i think about the future i see you all right so they do think about you as like a future partner they are seeing you as a queen of pentacles no matter your sex female or male this is marriage energy all right they do see you as marriage potential like a wife or a husband but not right now you're coming out in the reverse meaning that they see that this connection is in balance and it has a lot to do with what may have happened here in the past with you they cannot get you out of their head you are definitely consuming their mind and they do love you i love you more than i have ever um found a way to say to you so they do have lots of love for you it's just that right now in their life they have a lot going on that they need to basically make a priority because whatever it is that's going on in their world it's a big deal they can't even like they're stressed they're overwhelmed there's anxiety there's like this 
and seeing like i'm seeing someone pasting back and forth back and forth they don't know what to do with themselves and this situation yeah your person is like very deep in their mind they could be air sign um gemini libra aquarius for some of you guys but they're deep 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 in their minds right now about this situation and they can't sleep all right they manipulated you in this situation and they were not honest with you about what was going on here they could have gotten caught up doing something they shouldn't have been doing and um it's because they didn't want to like lose you so they tried to like it's kind of like i wanted to have my cake and eat it too and now they want to kind of like make things right make things fair with you um but they feel like they need to heal before they before they could do this before they could ask you for this forgiveness and before they could express to you how much you mean to them because there are romantic feelings here for you and them it's just that they're going through it i feel like they're getting some sort of karma right now in their life and they have to decide what they want they know what they they know what they feel for you they're in love with you they see you as a potential partner for the future they're attracted to you they want to be with you they want sexy time with you they could see themselves marrying you for a fact they've seen it they've envisioned it all right and you guys do have some type of psychic connection where your intuition their intuition is kind of like you guys meet in the 5d and you communicate and i feel like both of you guys may have dreams with each other like there's some type of psychic connection here between y'all and they feel it and they do feel the connection and they do feel you and they do have love for you but right now their life is a priority that's why they're in they're undecided about what they want to do here with you and i just have to be honest right so the feelings are there the love is there they want to invest here they want to see where this can go how far this can grow and they can't get over you because of the connection that you guys have you have a very strong connection and they do see that you know you're spicy you're sexy you're attractive so it's not so much like this person i feel like they were attracted to you paul too because of your exterior how you look they were attracted to the eye candy you know like your eye candy and that's what brought them in but what kept them hooked was the love was your energy was this connection and what you guys had together but right now it's dying and that's what they feel like it's dying because they're not feeding it they're not giving what they need to give to this connection at this time because of what's going on in their life which is illegal matter and it's kind of like out of their control and they feel bad but they do see you slipping away they do feel that you're leaving them but you're leaving them behind and this cycle is closing and it is like really giving them a lot of anxiety because they don't want to lose you but this is what's going on right now all right so let me pull a message and see what could be said here all right what they want to say to you all right, so spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels. What does Paul 2's person want to say to Paul 2 right now? Yeah, it's like they, they're not over you. They can't get over you. They can't move on is what they feel. They've tried, but they can't. You're consuming a lot of their thoughts. They're thinking a lot about you, and they can't sleep at night because you're on their mind heavily. And um, you mean a lot to this person. A lot. It's just that... They feel like they can't do anything about it right now. Like they have to take care of home is what I'm hearing. They have to take care of self. There's a lot going on over there. They are very possessive. They're saying your minds only. All right. So they want to they want to they want to have you because they see you as wife, husband material. They do. They feel like you belong to them. Your minds only. They don't want to see you with anyone else. I want to see you. You see, I'm like, they don't want to see you with anybody else. They want to see you, all right? You belong to me, and I want to see you now, <laughs> okay? So they do have desires to be with you. They're indecisive about what they want. They're in the limbo right now where it's like, I don't know, what do I want? I'm under a spell, okay? So they could be dealing with a Corella Deville or a Ursula, all right? I'm definitely getting Ursula vibes. All right, so there could be someone else trying to control your person, pal, too. This could be an ex or someone trying to control them with a love spell. And their higher self is coming through to say they're under a spell. And that could be a lot of the reason why they feel like they can't come towards you. All right. That's so desperate of whoever it is. Okay, stay with me. Yeah, they want you to stay with them. I want to see you stay with me you your minds only i see us growing old together 
Yeah, they see the potential here. They want engagement with you. They want commitment with you. They want marriage with you. And I'm not just saying that to make you feel better because this person is, that's what they want. They're in love with you. They can't get over you, but they have to make a choice. And they, their higher self is saying that they're under a spell and that may have a lot of the influence as to why they're acting like this, where they can't come towards you even though they love you and they want to and they want to have this life with you. All right, but besides that, I'm seeing that they have a legal matter in their life that's stressing them out and that has a lot of anxiety. Like, they have a lot of anxiety about... This person also is going through a little bit of a depression right now where they're not happy in their life and things aren't really going well for them, okay? I'm so proud of your growth. They're proud of how far you have grown, how far you have come, all right? Some of you guys may have gone through a glow up or a growth here, changed... You, you're doing better for yourself. You're get, you're going places with your life. And they're very proud of that. God bless, Paul Tu. Okay, hello. All right, baby. So let's go into charms. Let's see what else we could pull. And the universe wants you to trust your intuition about this connection. Listen to your intuition. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about them and what you should do here. Okay? All right, baby. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's get some advice. Let's get some charms out here. All right, baby. Um, I'm definitely going to do an extended for anybody that's interested. Uh, in the extended, I'm going to pull, like, what is the anxiety that's going on in their world? Like, what's this legal matter? Like, what's what's happening behind the scenes with them? Like, that is weighing on them. I'm going to pull what that is. And I'm also going to pull, like, what else the universe wants to tell you about this person. So, what else um, spirit wants to bring to your awareness today, Okay. And I'm going to pull a whole lot of messages, more messages from your person and see what else they want to say to you today and guidance and um, advice from the universe just for you, pal, too. The link for that after party extended video is going to be down in the description for anyone who is interested. Okay, balance. All right, so Spirit, give me some advice for pal, too. What's the advice? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're going to get the fire heart. It's so interesting because it's like you guys are on fire. All right, so you got the caliente. Woo, you're on fire. And then you get the fire heart. I'm just curious to see what the message is. Let's see. Oh, transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. All right, so there's a transformation, especially with the Saturn energy. All right, this is the world energy. This is the energy where a cycle is closing, a new cycle is opening up. That is major transformation. So you guys are about to deepen this connection is what the universe wants you to know. There's a transformation happening here. You guys are on fire, okay? In the back of the deck, we have when you pass from this world... You take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So basically, the universe is reminding you, like, listen, this earth, you right now on earth, you're on a journey, right? This is a journey that you decided to take on as a spirit. That's a whole different conversation we're going to have another day. All right. But you decided to take this trip on earth with your soulmate because I feel this is a soulmate you have a contract here with this person and um they're saying to enjoy the ride all right all you're taking with you when you leave this world we're not taking the money the house the cars the kids and all that stuff unfortunately all you take is the memories and your soul back with you to source all right bless so they wanted to re they wanted to remind you of that and also letting you know that you're going through a transformation. There's a transformation happening here. The third eye is opening for your person. Your person is now going to see things from a different perspective and see things much more clearly. All right, so let's get it. Let's go on to the charms. All right, here's my pendulum. I'm going to swing it after the charm. So think of a question you want to ask. And we're going to get an answer. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Ow. <laughs> This is my charm bowl. All right, so guys, if you're sensitive to noise, I suggest you lower the value now because the shuffle gets loud. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. All right, ready, set, go. Get it. Ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through and help me channel the message here for a pal too. Something tells me that you're looking for a wow. 
a girl like me. Simply take me, but you're looking for a girl like me. Ah! Okay. <laughs> All right, let me zoom in. Muevelo, muevelo. Muevelo, muevelo. What, is, what am I channeling? Estás en that. Ooh. All right, let me get this together, guys. Give me a second. Okay, hello there. How you doing? If you're new to my channel, welcome to the family, baby. Who's whistling me here? Oh. Oh, wow, look who it is. All right, Um. anyway. Somebody just text me from the past, and that's the energy for you, pal, too, okay? Someone from the past is coming in to text you, and you're going to be like, who's that? Whoa, because that's what I just did right now, and that's literally what's going to happen with you, pal, too. <laughs> I'm serious. Someone from the past just texted me right now. I'm like, who is that? What? Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Look, and we got the Six of Cups here. I know what I've been talking about. Mm -hmm, I didn't even see that. All right, well, hello there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Sorry, I just be blabbling. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like the energy here, you should subscribe and hit the bell button. All right, I'm saying that because I want you here, baby. Yes, I do. And um, <laughs> it's a beautiful community here, and you would have fun, and I post a whole lot. But make sure you hit the bell button because like youtube has a weird way of notifying people of my post and i don't want you to miss a beat so that's why that bell is there for i mean they should whatever anyway the bell's there so just hit it <laughs> and also by subscribing you will be automatically enrolled for my my bi-weekly raffle so every other monday i raffle a manifestation candle to a lucky subscriber they're powerful check out my etsy shop if you want to see some magical products i make candles that have spiritual baths and all this type of stuff that you could be interested in okay bless and that is that folks i post the winners on my community board monday or tuesday every other monday or tuesday okay bless hello my ogs how you guys doing baby <laughs> i hope you guys are good okay i love you i love you mm -hmm. all right so let's go what else your person wants to come inside babe they do they want to come back to you they're gonna text you dm you call you out of nowhere okay there's gonna be communication out of nowhere and you're gonna be like who's that and you're gonna be like wow look who it is okay that is what's gonna happen here paul too this person is not happy in their life they're looking for a new outlet a new direction in life a new path and they want you on that new path they want to come inside they want to renew this connection they see the four of wands with you all right this is my twin flame card soulmate energy they see stability with you marriage with you like hello we had a here engagement yeah they see engagement with you and that's really what's coming out here in your charms too so they want to communicate with you. This person has taken their time and it's because they're stubborn, all right? They're stubborn, they're lazy, and something wasn't really working out in their life. But they're coming back towards you because they feel very connected to you. They see you as a soulmate. For some of you guys, you know each other for quite some time. Y'all go way back or you have a past life connection with this person and it's just strong is what I'm seeing. Okay. So let's go into initials. So this could be yours or their first, middle, last initial, F. For Fernando, Francis, Fredelin, V, Vincent, Valerie, Valerio, Val, W, Wanda, Washington, Wenzel, Q, Quinn, Quintel, I, Adelise, Aisha, O, Oscar, Odom, M, Mike, Monica, Mary, Mitchell, M, um, R, Ryan, Ronald, Richard, Robinson, G, George, Greg, Gary, Grace, we have an R again. Jade, Jonathan, Jessica, Jalissa, Junior, um, James, N, Nancy, Nando, Nathan, E, Edward, Elizabeth, Edison, T, Tiffany, Tom, Terry. All right, let's get into the charms. Now we have three whales here, so I can't help. All right, and this is Destiny the Whale. Okay, so you and your person definitely have deep ass feelings for each other. You guys really have deep feelings for each other. But there is someone else interfering. And this interference could be like a family member, a mom, a dad, a cousin, a sister, a brother, or like a friend, a hater, raider, a ex, a baby mama, baby father. There is an interference here. And I'm seeing it, okay? This person, um, for some of you guys, it could be into like that aren't that that drink with the bubbles all right um 
I think it's like an Asian drink or Korean drink. I don't know, guys. But I know it's like Chinese or something like that. And it has like the little gummy bubbles in the drink. Um, Somebody could be into that here. It's really good stuff Um, if you haven't tried it. I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry. All right, we have another cue here. But I am getting that. All right, and your person is cleaning up something, all right? Spring cleaning right now. They're getting rid of things in their life that don't serve them. Love is definitely coming in is what I'm seeing. Okay, love. Lots of money is coming in too. Hello. Money and love, all right? This person loves your lips. They love, like, they love seeing you for some, for, sorry, for some of you guys, they love to see you with red lipsticks. They love your lips. What that mouth do? Hello? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, They want to definitely have sex with you is what I'm getting. They would love to, like, have a nut. Okay? They're cutting things out of their life that no longer serve them. There's a lot of spring cleaning going on over here. All right. For some of you guys, this person could be an athlete or you could be someone likes to ride bike or take a bike stroll, bike. I'm seeing that app that shows, like, where you go in a bike. All right? Like, you did this route on a bike. I don't know. I'm seeing that. So that could be for some of you guys. Okay. She believes she could. So she did. Your person sees you as a go-getter, pal, too. You believed in yourself. You took a leap of faith in your dreams. And you made it somewhere. They're very proud of you. All right. The year 2015 could be very significant for some of you guys. We have Blue Ridge Parkway, North Carolina. Okay. Bless. But I'm always drawn to this tunnel here with this quarter. Money is a factor in this connection for a fact, FYI. Um, but with this tunnel, it's kind of like your person has tunnel vision right now when it comes to this connection. They're trying to focus very strongly on how to get across that bridge. They want to get across the bridge is what I'm hearing. Shout out to all my international viewers. Hello, baby. All right, so some of you guys could be from Paris because we have the Paris Charming here. Hello. Okay, but that Eiffel Tower always speaks to me about love and uh, engagements, right? Because what do we know the Eiffel Tower to be? Is the love towers where people go to get engaged and stuff like that, get married and all that beautiful stuff and ooh la la. Okay, so definitely there's a lot of engagement energy here. Your person wants to put a ring on it. If you wanna get to put a ring on it, if you wanna put a ring in it, uh oh 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 yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you or your person could be a Scorpio. They feel like you're very passionate. You or your person could be a Libra, and they feel like you're very charming. You or your person could be a Taurus, and they feel like you're very trustworthy. Okay, we do have Earth energy here, so that is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have a little bit of water here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, some fire, all right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a little bit of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Yeah, okay, bless, bless this could be your sign their sign or within your charts right guys remember in your charts your charts matter they matter okay they identify you hello all right so let's get it let's go think of your question baby we're gonna swing the pendulum okay spirit what is the answer all right guys so after this i am going to the extended the after party where i'm gonna go into your person i'm gonna see what is this anxiety about this legal matter what's going on behind the scenes what's stressing your person out um and i'm also gonna see like what else spirit wants to tell you about your person i'm gonna pull a lot of messages from your person what your person wants to say to you right now and um advice and guidance from the universe what they want you to know right now as well extra extra guidance and advice we will be playing i could fall in love by selena while i shuffle in the extended fyi that's why i call it the after party because i do play music over there okay just a warning <laughs> all right skywalker i'm hearing skywalker by bruno mars fyi mm -hmm. just pop through all right so let's see What's the answer, Spirit? What's the answer? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, you are so beautiful to me. Yes, indeed. Oh, they're saying to ask a friend. All right, baby, listen. They're saying ask a friend because apparently a friend is going to give you some insight on something, all right? Or maybe you need to talk to a friend and that's what they want you to do. But they're telling to ask a friend, okay, babe? Bless! 
<laughs> all right so i'm gonna go up to the extended soon guys whoever's gonna meet me there bless i will see you right now give me a second okay for those who are parting ways with me now pal two i love you i hope you enjoyed this reading today if you resonated with it if you liked the reading please give me a like it helps the channel and i love you so much from the bottom of my heart all right babe bless <laughs> um if you're new to my channel welcome subscribe hit that bell button hello this is one of the many candles that i um raffle off every other monday so if you want to be part of this cool raffle all you got to do is subscribe and hit the bell button really and say hello to me in the comments so i can say hi to you you know don't be shy don't be shy okay um <laughs> i have many many candles this is one we're healing today okay um but if you want to check out my candles or any of my magical products you could go ahead and check my etsy shop is down below all right bless on that and i will see you guys in my comments my ogs you already know what time it is i love you guys i will see you in the comments and i'm sending you guys love light and everything nice and i'll see you in the next one okay baby Mwah. this is <laughs> hi pal three welcome to your reading bless thank you so much for meeting me here baby all right so let's get it let's go let's see no contact situation what's going on what's going on what's going on baby all right so spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys angels please come through and help me channel this message here today for pal three thank you so much Ooh, this doesn't belong here hello for real for real you got the deal i don't know that's what i'm hearing <laughs> all right so pal three we have here five four six two this is your angel number please go on to google and put 5462 as your angel number meaning and that is your message here today from spirit okay you heard the sirens yes because this was meant for you to hear it okay bless <laughs> oh my all right guys pop three Let's get it, let's go. Let me get your angel message out here first, and then we're going to get into your reading, okay? No contact. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel the message here today for Pal 3. Okay, so Spirit, what is the message for Pal 3 today? We have 1212. I am focused. Maybe you guys see 1212 a lot, okay? Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. Hello. I love it. Yes, baby. Let's turn those dreams into reality manifestation. Yes. Number nine. I am compassionate. Get my fingerprints out the way. Hello, <laughs> FBI. Don't look. <laughs> All right, I am compassionate. Just kidding, guys. Um, number nine. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You're devoted. Uh, you're devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service all right baby bless pal three you guys love helping others and you get satisfaction from helping those um who don't have a voice is what i'm getting and that is beautiful so god bless okay pal three you guys chose the internet symbol here which i think it is an internet symbol i don't even know okay i'm seeing it as a service wi-fi this is wi-fi right yeah you guys chose the wi-fi symbol yeah, so um, I'm seeing connections, all right? Connections mean a lot here in this in this connection here, pal three. <laughs> that, made, that made no sense. The connections mean a lot in this connection, all right? But you know what I'm trying to say, right? Okay, yeah, let's get it, let's go. All right, so you guys are very connected, pal three. There is a strong connection here, all right? And there is some type of connection in this connection, in this relationship, all right? So let's get it, let's go. All right, I'm going to pull a song first and we're doing that today differently yes but i am doing it for my music deck all right so let's see what songs we get for you guys pal three all right so spirit what is the song for pal three for real for real you know the deal okay we got janae echo triggered all right i love janae echo she is oh everything all right triggered i'm triggered when i see your face triggered when i hear your name triggered i am not okay uh you need to stay out my way 
all right maybe you guys pal three are a bit triggered with this connection with your person all right so let's put that there triggered geneco and then we have drake i get lonely too waited on you for so long too many days since january i'm still sitting here alone we should have did this already said i got an email today kind of thought that you forgot about me but i want to hit you back to say just like you i get lonely too well i get lonely i put the two in there because it just rhymed better drake <laughs> sign me <laughs> okay so yeah we're gonna play this song in the extended drake i get lonely too or Janae echo triggered triggered i love that song um we're gonna play one of these songs in the extended okay that's why it's called the after party because i put music while i shuffle all right baby bless all right so let's get into this let's get into this reading all right so spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys angels please come through and help me channel this message here today for pal three in regards to their person no contact what's going on what do we need to know all right talk to me baby okay Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pile 3. Spirit, what is going on with this no contact situation, Pile 3 and their person? What do we need to know? All right, we got the Seven of Swords in reverse. We're talking about Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here coming through. All right, we got the Eight of Swords in reverse, more air energy. Okay, that's good. That's good. I like the message so far all right we have the queen of pentacles in reverse no matter sex female or male this is earth energy towards virgo capricorn mm -hmm. we have the five of cups in reverse that's water energy cancer pisces scorpio for real for real you know the deal we have the six of swords more air energy we got a lot of air energy on the table okay and in the back of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, more air energy, okay? We're going to put that down here, get some more energies out here. All right, Spur, what is, what is Pal 3's person feeling at this time? No contact. What's going on? All right, we have new love. A new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. Okay, we'll talk about that. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right. And we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Bottom of the deck, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. All right. We're going to get a little bit more energies out here. All right. So spirit. What is going on with Pal 3's person? No contact. Talk to me, baby. All right, we have trust your intuition. All right, you guys are very intuitive, Pal 3. Listen to that intuition. It won't lie to you. We have elimination, okay? We'll speak about it. And it makes sense with this release my ex. Release your ex, okay? We have self-pleasure. All right. Your person is coming through to tell you a little bit of something, okay? Hard to read. Mm hmm And we have gossip. All right? In the back, we have freedom. I want the freedom to pursue my own happiness right now. All right, baby? Hold on. Let's get it. Let's go. All right? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys angels please come through and help me channel this message here for pal three thank you so much all right pal three let's get it let's go all right so what i'm seeing pal three is that your person got caught up all right yes let's talk about it your person got caught up in some sort of situation they were tricking you or not being honest with you they were it's like i want my cake and eat it too type of energy all right so they tried to manipulate the situation in the past and they got caught up in their mess and they were scared because they didn't see this coming, all right? Nobody sees it coming when you get caught, all right? If not, then you wouldn't get caught, right? Okay. So your person is just like in this energy right now 
where they want to make things right. They want to mend things between y'all. They feel bad. There could have been a third party situation here for some of you guys where there was an interference with a family member, a friend, an ex, or a lover or something like that. All right, that they got caught up in. It's like, I wanted to have my cake. I wanted to eat it too. It didn't work out. Now this person is feeling kind of stupid if you ask me. Sorry to put it that way, but that's the energy. They feel bad. They feel dumb that they actually put you in that predicament or they put you in that energy where they weren't being honest with you because whatever they were trying to see, kind of like if the grass was greener on the other side, no, it wasn't. It was fake grass. All right. It looked prettier or it looked better. It looked healthier, but it was fake. When you went and touched the grass, you got cut because it was fake grass. Okay. And that's the energy here. Your person is in this energy where they feel kind of dumb for what they did in the past, where they had put you in a situation where they try to manipulate you and something else. Your person is now releasing themselves from a lot of fears that they had in their mind. A lot of fears about you, the connection, and what they actually felt here in this connection. They feel that you may be a bit jealous because of what happened in the past. They do feel that way about you. They do feel that... You are wife, husband material, but they kind of tainted the situation is what they feel. Like, I don't know why I'm getting squid ink, all right? I, I heard that squid ink is like kind of permanent, all right? But that's kind of like what they feel. They feel like they squirted this squid ink on your connection and it tainted the connection and it's permanent where they can't erase what happened here is what they feel and they feel kind of dumb for whatever happened here because that's not that wasn't their intention it was rough all right they feel that you may feel that they backstabbed you and it was a tough ending here you guys may have had an argument you guys may have separated ways in a cold energy or it could have just been very quickly but they feel bad they feel like they left a sword in your back right now your person is releasing the anxieties the stress the fears of this connection and what they did here they're healing from it they want to apologize to you for letting you down for betraying you for hurting you because they know that they hurt you along the way there was a lot of gossip about this connection about rumors about what they did or how they got caught up in this mess i see a lot of people talking and they're trying to ignore the gossip but it's very difficult to ignore it because it's because your person has an ego so it does trigger them it triggers them that people are talking about this connection and what happened here and how they got caught up in their mess and the squid ink came out all right and it's like everybody could see the squid ink and they are really upset about this they're really upset with themselves that they put themselves in this situation to begin with all right your person wants to move forward they want to kind of like cut ties with what happened in the past and renew this love they want to give this relationship another opportunity if you're up for it all right they want to get to know you better because they do see potential within you they do see you as someone that's connected someone that is very abundant someone that has good ties and they don't want to excuse me they don't want to let go of it they also feel like this is a psychic connection where you guys are connected in a spiritual way which has a lot to do with that symbol there. You guys are connected spiritually and they do feel it. All right, now your person is releasing someone from their past, an ex, a lover, whatever interference was here in this connection, they're releasing this person now. And that's what's coming through. Your person is also masturbating to you. Sorry, how to put it out there. It is what it is. <laughs> Hello. All right, so yes, there is sexy time happening alone with thoughts of you. This person has pictures or videos of you in their phone. If not, they found pictures of you or something like that. And they're using it to satisfy themselves because they want you. They're horny for you, pal three. Okay, and they feel like you're very, like you confuse them. And it's like you give them mixed signals is what they feel. Like they can't put a finger on you. They can't figure you out. They can't read you is what they feel. And usually like this person is very intuitive. So usually they feel like they could read most people. But you, Paul 3, is like unreadable. Yeah, they want reconciliation here with the Two of Cups. They can't get over you. They want it. They feel blocked. They feel like they created a block between you and them. 
and they feel stupid i'm sorry to put it that way i don't want to bash anybody i don't want to make you know i don't want to trigger you because we have triggered over here so you may be triggered by this person in this situation but they are dumb all right and that's how they feel they feel dumb for their actions they feel dumb that they thought that it was cool to check out the fake grass they didn't know it was fake all right they didn't know the grass wasn't real but they went and laid on that shit anyway and they got cut because it's fake grass right i don't know if you ever felt fake grass but it's not pretty it hurts it it's like uncomfortable and it looks nice and all that but it's not real it's fake and that's kind of like what this person feels they feel dumb because they feel like they gambled you they gambled this situation um for something that wasn't even real something that wasn't even worth it and right now your person is eliminating uh, your person is eliminating this person this situation because is not serving them and what they want is you and they kind of are stressed about how they're going to do this how they're going to come towards you because they can't read you they don't know how to read you they don't know they can't figure it out and they feel like they made a mess there's no cleaning the squid ink is what i'm seeing and they're just stressed about it so that's what's going on i'm gonna pull some messages to see what they want to say to you <coughs> To see what they want to say to you this person's throat chakra is definitely blocked fyi yes they're nervous to speak to you all right so spirit what would pal three's higher self say to pal three pal three's person's higher self say to pal three at this time mm -hmm. i want to take it slow babe all right, so they want to start over, and this time they want to take it slow. They want to have a chance to get to know you better, to, to get to know you on a deeper level. I hate being apart, all right? So they're confessing that they don't like being away from you, that they don't like being um, separated from you. I'm not worried about falling in love right now, all right? So they're being honest, though. They're saying that's why they want to take it slow, because they're not trying to fall in love right away okay i want to take lead all right so they want to have control over the situation is what they want you to know um they want to take it slow because they're not ready to fall in love right away and they just don't want to be away from you they hate being apart from you i want to speak my truth to you they want to tell you the truth about the situation and everything that happened here because they feel like they need to defend themselves about why they went off to check out the fake grass and how they got cut how they got cut and it was an ugly scene is what i'm saying uh-huh all right so let's go into charms and see what the charms have to say all right babes i am definitely gonna do an extended for anybody that's interested okay the extended is gonna be an after party of course <laughs> i'm gonna play triggered by janae echo in the extended while i'm shuffling fyi um yeah, so in the extended, I'm going to pull, like, what this person... Because they want to move forward with you, and they're going to apologize to you. So I'm just going to pull more about what this person is going to plan to do, how they're going to come towards you, and what their intentions truly are. We're going to see if they are intending to do something right by your side, or if they're just coming in with more F-boy, F-girl type of energy. Okay? Bless. We're also going to pull a lot of more messages from your person, what else they want to say to you, and advice and guidance from the universe. So if you want to join me there, you're more than welcome to. The link is in the description, okay? This is my pendulum. So think of a question you would like to ask. We're going to swing it after the charms, okay? Okay. All right, so let's go. Oh, this is my bowl. This is my charmy bowl. All right, guys, so... If you're sensitive to noise, this is when you want to lower the volume because this gets really loud, all right? I ain't going to hold you, all right? So let's get it, let's go, all right? Ready, set, go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through. Help me channel this message here today for Pal 3. Look at that. The 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 tower is on my finger. It's on my ring finger too. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's go. Let's get some initials up in here. 
Oh, I didn't get a guidance. Let's pull some guidance before we get into this. All right. So let's see. Spirit, what's the guidance for Pile 3? Okay. Only time will tell. All right. So only time will tell is what they're saying. And it says here, embrace. Through each other, you find missing pieces. Okay. So only time will tell the missing piece that you guys, um, you know, will find here in this connection. The missing piece to the puzzle. All right, so let's go. I'm going to zoom in so we can do the charms, okay? Bless. Okay. So let's. this is going to take me a minute to organize, so give me a second, baby, okay? One second. Hello there. How you guys doing, baby? If you're new to my channel, welcome to the party, all right? Welcome to the family. Bless. If you like it here, subscribe. Become part of the family. I would love to keep you. Hello. All right, um... Also remember to hit that bell button because YouTube has a weird way of notifying people of my posts and I don't want you to miss a beat. So make sure you hit that subscribe and the bell button. Okay, bless. All right, hold on. Let me just get this over here. Also by subscribing, you will become part of my um, bi-weekly raffle. All right, so every other Monday, I hold a raffle where I give away a manifestation candle. Yes, I give it away to a special subscriber. It's chosen randomly, and you could be part of that. These candles are very magical. If you want to check them out, my Etsy shop is down below. I have a lot of magical products. Okay? Um, but I give one away every other Monday, and I post the winner on my community board. So when you subscribe, you could you become part of that raffle. And who doesn't love to win? Me. I love to win. <laughs> All right. So bless, 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 and bless. All right, my OGs, how you guys doing, baby? I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you guys are okay. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. I see that your person definitely is in this hermit energy. All right, they're going within. They're really trying to listen to their intuition. They're trying to like see the light. All right, the hermit is trying to see the light within the dark. All right, so your person has withdrawn to see the light within the dark, all right? They, they're looking for inner wisdom. They're trying to see what they're gonna do next, how they can move forward. I also see that your person is very guarded. Their heart is guarded. They have a wall around their heart, for sure. Um, They do feel very abundant here with you, with this 10 of Pentacles, all right? So they do see something like very strong, very, like they wanna commit is what they, what they see, all right? And this person is very, passionate very 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 um passionate about you i do feel like this person is very attractive as well they think a lot i'm getting air energy gemini libra aquarius strongly all right but we do have fire and earth here as well mm -hmm. so um yeah and the hermit is virgo but i'm just seeing like your person's going within thinking about how they could see commitment with you they do see you as wife husband material and they do think about you a lot, but they're detached. It's like they're wearing a mask. All right. Um, and that's what I'm getting. So let's go into initials, first, middle, last. This could be yours or theirs. All right. We have S as in Sam, Smith, Scott, Stephanie. Y as in Jessica, Yanelli. D as in Daniel, David, Doug. G as in Grace, George, Gary. Q as in Quinn, Quintel. F as in Fernando, Francis, Fredelin. X as in Xavier, Exelina. You hear the sirens? Yeah, this is like an omen. L as in Larry, London, Louisa, Lewis. Let it pass. Let it just pass. Okay. This is an emergency, guys. All right, J, Justin, Jacob, Jr., Jalissa, James. H, Hector, Helen, Hamilton. All right, W, Washington, Wanda, Wendell. N, Nancy, Nando, Nathan. We have G again. R, Ronald, Richard, Robert, Rosa, Roslyn, K, Crystal, Kevin, Keith, um, Kenny, I, Aisha, Adelise, P, Paul, Patricia, Patrick, Penelope, Peter, E, Edward, Elizabeth, Edison, Ellen, Q, Quinn, Quintel. All right, so we're going to go into charms now. This could be yours or theirs initials, all right? Someone here is a morning person. Someone really likes orange juice. <laughs> All right. They love your morning smile. They love seeing your smile. It brightens up their day is what they're saying. We have this baby carriage here. So there could have been um, someone here could be pregnant or there could be like a pregnancy or something like that. Or children are a factor in this connection. All right. If there is no children or pregnancy, I definitely feel like this person was being super childish. Okay. 
for sure there's like childhood wounds that need to be healed i'm seeing three destiny whales this is destiny the whale all right so you and your person definitely have deep feelings for each other but there is an interference here a third party that they're eliminating that they don't want in their life anymore all right that's why the whale went upside down okay they do see you as someone very sweet someone that's very loving some of you guys could bake or cook or something like that culinary i'm getting like a chef culinary chef or something like that something could have happened during the holiday between you and your person specifically christmas for some of you guys uh-huh i'm also getting athlete vibes someone here could be into working out an athlete into health sports all right this could be you or your person like riding bikes or something I see that you're manifesting a change here and that energy is coming through very strongly. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of culinary energy. All right, so maybe you cook for this person. Maybe this person really likes your food. Okay. But a tower did occur here. Something happened between you and your person pretty quickly. Both of you guys didn't see this coming. I see that definitely money is a factor in this connection. They feel like you're getting to the money. All right. They love your pheromones. They like the way you smell, your perfume, your cologne, however it goes. Your natural smell. You smell good. Mmm, delicioso. All right. <laughs> they see you as a warrior, somebody that fights for what they want. All right. You're a fighter. You're a warrior. They see you as someone that doesn't just give up on what they love. You really inspire them with your energy for sure. This is a past life connection, meaning that you guys have met in a different lifetime. That's why you guys connected very well and very fast. I see that you're definitely um unfolding is like the unfolding roles you guys are like opening up to your inner selves your intuition you're unfolding you're ascending you're blossoming you're glowing your person sees you like having a glow up or you're glowing okay beautiful and you guys definitely are soulmates twin flames where you are from you are part of the same soul family the same soul tree and their feelings for you are very deep, pal three. It's just that they don't know how to show it. They do see you as a star, as their wish fulfillment, as someone that they would love to have in their life. They also find you very mysterious, all right, with this moon, the crescent moon. I'm also getting that some of you guys could have like a crescent moon tattoo, but they see you as someone that's very mysterious, that has very strong energies. And the universe wants you to know what's for you will not pass you. All right, so what is for you will not pass you. So if this person is for you, they will not pass you is basically what they're saying, okay? I have Aquarius here, so you or your person could be Aquarius. They feel like you're very friendly. All right, we have Virgo here with the Hermit. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Fire. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Earth. And we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Air. There was a lot of Air here as well. All right, baby. Bless. So this could be your sign or their sign. All right, loves? All right. So let's go into the pendulum. Let's get it. All right, so think of your question, guys. Spirit, what's the answer? What? What was that? Okay. <laughs> that was a weird swing, okay? All right, guys. So after this, I am definitely going to go to the extended where I'm going to pull um how this person is coming in. Like, they're going to want to apologize to you and come towards you. So we're going to get more energy on that. If they're coming in genuinely or if they're coming in with more f-boy f-girl energy and when if they want to give me a time right and we're going to pull more messages from your person what else they want to say to you guidance and um advice from the universe just for you pal three so if you want to join the party you're more than welcome to the extended um reading link is down below in the description all right the after party all right so apparently spirit is saying that you have to ask a friend all right they want you to ask a friend because apparently a friend has some type of insight on this situation and is going to help guide you so they want you to speak to your friend about that question all right baby bless okay so if you're going to meet me in the extended i will see you right now give me a second i'll be right there for those of you who are parting ways with me now, I love you so much, Pal 3. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know how you felt about this. Give me your comments, concerns, whatever you want to tell me. I'm here for it, all right? If you like this video, if it resonated with you, please give it a like. It helps the channel, and I love you so much for that. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hello. All right, um, subscribe. Become part of the family. Remember to hit the bell button, though. It's very important. 
and this is one of my many magical candles that I do make myself. If you want, you can go check out my Etsy shop. The link is down below with a promo just for my YouTubers, my YouTube subscribers, all of you guys. I love you. That's why I have a promo there for you guys. And also, you will be automatically enrolled in that raffle every other Monday. This Monday coming up now, if you're watching this when I upload it, um, I am going to do the raffle for a uh, candle so if you want to be part of that just subscribe hit that bell button and you will be and let me know in the comments who you are so i can say hi all right baby bless and um that is all folks my ogs i will see you in the comment sections i'm sending you guys love light and everything nice and i'm wishing you guys nothing but the best and so much success i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one this is <laughs>